Welcome to Free to Cook. In this episode, we're going to be cooking tacos El Pasto. This dish is based on lamb shawarma brought by the Lebanese immigrants to Mexico. The mixture of flavor makes this truly unique. The amazing flavors coupled with the tender meat cooked over the spit makes this one to remember. To start off, light a chimney of charcoal. Place a nice thick cast iron pan over the heat. Add four to five bay leaves, two whole cinnamon sticks, one tablespoon of peppercorns, and one tablespoon of cloves. Post off the aromatics. Pour the aromatics into a food processor, followed by three garlic cloves, one roughly chopped red onion, two roughly chopped chilies, the hotter the better, one can of pineapple, two tablespoons of our chair chair paste, finally half a cup of white vinegar. Place a lid on the food processor and start by pulsing before working up to a full blend. You should end up with a nice bright red paste. Next, you will need one deboned pork shoulder. Slice the shoulder into half inch strips. If you like, you could ask your butcher to do this for you. Transfer the pork strips to a large dish. Pour over the marinade and work it through all the meat, making sure you fully coat the pork. Place the pork in the fridge to marinate for at least two hours or overnight. Next, light a chimney of charcoal and pour it into the base of the spit. Start layering the meat onto the spit pole. The best way I've found to do this is to use the small parts on the end. This better allows the meat to be held together. Place on the other end and push down to compact the meat together. Place over the charcoal and cook for two to three hours. The best thing about using a spit is the meat will baste itself throughout the cook. This type of spit doesn't beat the upright ones you see in the kebab stores. After two to three hours, the meat is ready to be sliced. Cut off the top layers into a pan. Rotate the spit and continue to shave off the top layers. Turn the spit back on and allow the meat to continue to cook. This will keep it nice and warm and crisp up those edges. Place the meat on a tortilla. Then top with spring onion, coriander, and guacamole. Squeeze over some lemon juice and there you have it. Tacos El Pastor. The mixture of Mexican and Lebanese flavors gives this meat a truly unique taste. The meat is beautiful and tender from cooking on the spit. And on a side note, as an Aussie, I'm so sorry for butchering the pronunciation. If you found this recipe helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and if you have any recipe suggestions, leave them in the comments.